Good morning, citizen of the internet, or good evening or good afternoon if you're watching on the other side of the world. My name is C plus Hero, Hero VTuber the Mating, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Scuff VTuber Road to a Master, a series where I climb up the ladder in Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi VGC ranking. Today, uh, we are continuing using the interesting uh, Trick Room T with Paltia and Tarax Ice Rider Core. Uh, as you can see, the team there, uh, it's down in the game footage below. And you can also check out what this team it was used for. It was created by um, a Taiwanese player who used at his local regional uh, tournament back in April. And who made it in the top 8. So, we are continuing using this team and we will get to it. So let's start with the first game of the day. Our first battle of the day is Mina, and she is using a Groudon team. I think in the last battle, in the last episode, we lost to a Groudon uh, to a Sun team, so let's do our best better in this one. So he have Incineroar, Dastrodon, Zacian, Regiality, Groudon, and Venusaur. Hmm. We do need to bring our Incineroar for sure. The Gastrodon will be of a problem though. So I think what we could do is bring our Hmm. Let's see now. I think we could Thunder Yeah, we could bring our Thunderous. And we could also bring our own Incineroar in case he bring out his Zacian. For sure. But, um... Yeah, I think we could... Let's see now. Hmm. Yeah, Incineroar... Calyrex Ice. And then I think we could bring out... How... Uh, yeah, Paltia. I think this should be good. Hopefully. Let's see now. Now, let's see how scuffed this battle will be. And, ooh, I really like her uh, trader profile pick. That's pretty cute. And very cool, too. No pun intended. Alright, here we go. She sent out... I cannot reach ID. Regiality in... And Zacian, which is very perfect because we bring out our Incineroar. So Incineroar Intimidate will negate the Zacian and Tripper Sword. Yep, it's got a lower Zacian's attack. Nice, very, very nice. And then what we can do is we can... Let's see that. We will go with... Let's see that. He's not gonna want to do... He doesn't want to um, attack us. So we could go with... Let's see this also damage here. Yeah. Let's go with... Break Break? No. Better yet. Yeah, actually. Let's go with Break Break on the... Yeah, and then let's go with... Fake out on the Zashian. Yeah. Oh, he went for... Oh, he went for Dynamax Regiality. Okay. Interesting. Is this Regiality a Choice Scuff or maybe Magnet? Most likely it's a Magnet Regiality. But we'll see what it does. And yep, Zashia go for Protect. Max Lightning on who? Okay, well. And there goes our Thunderous. Well, that's that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. And I think we might have already lost. Oh, that's a Life of Zashian. I mean, not Life of... Uh, life... Bleh. What am I trying to say? Life Orb... Life Orb... What am I trying? Life of Regality. There you go. Alright. Now, hmm. I want to bring out 
think all we could do is bring out Calyrex Ice. Oh man, maybe I, this team that I... Okay, maybe the members I choose for, to battle this was not a very good idea because... I should have brought like something that could redirect the Behemoth Blade and also the Dante. So, all we could do is we could Max Quake the, the Regiality and then let's go with Parting Shot on the Zacian. Here we go. Max Lightning. And oh, uh, I wonder. I think the Zashia might be. Oh, oh, that's a dead. The Berry Berries. Come on, please. Yeah, please, Tarax Ice. Please survive this. Oh, and barely. Oh my god. Okay, well. Gotta use the potting shot. And we're gonna send out Paltia next. Exerting the pressure and then Max Quake the Regiality. And there you go, Reggie LT is fainted. Nice. Alright. Okay, what is he gonna send out? Is he. I mean, she. Who know they. Is they gonna bring out Incineroar or what? Groudon, okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go with Max God and then Trick Room. I think that's the best thing we could do. God. Behemoth Blade. Yep, we protected from the Behemoth Blade. That's very good. Precipical Blade. And Pouty Avoided. Nice. Go Trick Room. Nice, nice, nice. Very, very nice. Okay, now we can do this. Now we could go for uh, Max Quake on the Zacian. And then Hydro Pump on the on the Groudon. Yeah, let's do this. Yep, Zashi used Max Quake, but that doesn't matter. Alright, we're gonna use our Max Quake. Special Defense Rose. All right, nice. Ooh, and oh my god. And oh dang, the Hydro Pump. Ah, uh, Groudon avoided the Hydro Pump. Well, that's unfortunate, but doesn't matter because we are under Trick Room, so we have the advantage. Let's go with Glacial Lance. And then I think what we can do. We have, let's see though. We have Sweet Turn of Trick Room there. So let's go with Glacial Lance. And then let's go with Earth Power on the Zacian. Okay. And it's the Venusaur. Alright. Uh yeah, I think this is gonna do a lot of damage to both your mon because you both Venusaur and Ground is weak against the ice. And both fainted.
Oh, wow. We really turned this battle around in our favor. Ed? Yeah, I think... I think Tyrex Ice should be at max... Should be max attack boost by now. Because we tail both Mons. So, let's see what is up. And all she has left is a Zacian. In Triple Sword. They only have Zacian left, so... We could just go for Patek, and then... Um... Actually, better... Yeah, they might go for... You see now, there's only two turn of trick to yeah? So, we could go for... Protect, and then let's go switch to Incineroar. All right, nice. Go for Protect. Okay, well, we're gonna go for high horsepower. And let's go with... Oh, he might go for... Hmm. Let's switch to Kautia because I think they're gonna go for... Um... Protect at this turn just to waste the trick room. So we're just gonna switch it out to Paltia. Or oh, they won't switch. Okay. Well, there go the Zashian. And we won the first battle of this episode. What a close battle, and here I thought I chose the wrong mod, but I was able to, well, uh, adapt to the changes, and we were managed to win. Nice, very, very nice. And now we don't need to check the points, hey, let's just move on to the next battle. And our next opponent is Shamoji. Oh, probably a Japanese player, and it's another Sun Team with Charles of Gralin, Zashin, Sino, Dashodun, and... Um, Grimmsnarl. So what we could do is we could start off with in uh, Thunderous. We could go with the Pacifical Blade is gonna be a problem, but Thunderous will be immune to Ground type move, which is good for us. Then we could go with I think we could go with Incineroar. Incineroar is not bad for this one, so. We could go for Incineroar, then Pout, um, P2 is nice, yeah, P2, and then, <clears throat> and then, what else we could, um, let's see now, we, fire type move where we re-dance it, so let's go with, Paltia then. Yeah. I know there's a Gastron in there, so we will have to play around if he's gonna bring a Gastron on. Chamoji. Okay. Nice profile pick. Very creative with these trainer profile picks so far in this game. At least from what we've seen throughout this entire series. And she's gonna send out Charizard and Groudon. Alright. Okay, what we could do is we're gonna go with Max Lightning. We could go for Max Lightning on the Charizard, and then I think we would go Parting Shot on the Charizard. The Charizard is the one that I'm most concerned about as of now. Oh, maybe we could go for... Hmm, actually, let's see what he's gonna do. What, she, what they gotta do. Let's see what they gotta do. Okay. Oh, 
All right, our Thunderous seem to be gonna go Dynamax first. So, okay. All right, here come the Charizard. Or is it Groudon? It'll be surprised if it's a Groudon. Nope, it is a Charizard. Alright, Charizard. Go. Mm -hmm. Rock Tomb. Oh. Oh, that's what it wanted to do. Okay. Lowering our speed, but also raising our defense. Oh boy. Z-Max Wirefire, oh boy, is it not gonna survive? No! Oh my god, it didn't survive! Ah, that sucks! Oh my god. Okay, that's a Life Orb Charizard. Good to know. We're just gonna parting shot it now. Uh, maybe we should have went for Fake on the Groudon. Hmm. E2? And the Drought. Solar Power. And then here come the Groud. I mean, Incineroar. Alright. Incineroars, there you go. Okay, let's just go for Fake on the Groudon and let's go with Trick Room. So we can help out Paltia in the back. Oh, he switched out his Groudon, okay, and go for his Incineroar, alright. Fake out. And here come the G-Max Wildfire. Oh, and Porygon barely survived. And now time to set our Trick Room. And our Porygon 2 is fake, but at least it did its roll. Now we have left this our 2 Mon. Now what we have left is our two Mon, Incineroar and Paltia. Okay then, hmm. Okay, wow. All we could do is we could parting shot on the Charter and then I think we could Hydro Pump on the Charizard too, I think. He has only one of two choices to fake it out. Most likely he's gonna go fake out on the Altia, who you know. Yeah, just that I expected Paltia. Here come parting shot, but we're gonna lower his attack special attack even more. Max Airstream. Why would he do Max Airstream on the Trick Room? I have no idea. That's gonna make his both Incineroar and uh, Incineroar even faster or rather slower under the Trick Room. Okay, we're gonna go with... Let's go with... Let's go with uh, Darkest Lyria on the Charizard, and then no, actually better yet, maybe yeah, Darkest Lyria on the Charizard, and let's go with Hydro. Let's go with Spatial Ren on the on the Incineroar. 
Darkest Lariat. Okay, his Incineroar moved faster than our Kalkia, even with the max airstream boost, so that's kind of interesting. Zashia, okay. Ah! Uh, who avoided it? Oh, my Palsia. Okay, uh, well, how many Trick Room? Trick Room only two turn left, so I think what we could do is Flare Blitz and then Spatial Rend on the Charizard. Okay, he withdrew his Charizard, and he's gonna send out his Incineroar again. Hmm. Oh, Quick Attack! Oh, wow. Yeah, that's very interesting. I think this is the second time we've seen a Zashi use tr uh, Quick Attack, so... But unfortunately, I think we lost in this match, so... Yeah, I think we kind of lost this one, so... Yeah, fake out, blah blah blah, and he's probably gonna go for close combat, or play well. That was a critical hit, well, good thing for the opponent, I guess I chose the very wrong mon for this one. <sighs> oh well, on to the next game then, Kyle. Oh, this is different. It's a Kyogre T with Tyrex Ice, Mimikyu. Mimikyu is likely the the Trick Room setter here, so we're gonna go with Among Us. Among Us, and then let's go with. Hmm. What can we do? Among Us? I think. Ow. Yeah, there is that. Gorilla Boom there. Hmm. Yeah, we could go with. Yeah, we could go with. Thunderous. Calyrex Ice and then. Altia. Yeah, I I think that should be good enough, so let's do this. Alright, Kyle. This is all Kyle's mom fault, guys. Sorry, I was trying to do a uh, South Park Cartman impression before a moment there. Well, I think well, we know what we must do here. Well, let's put the... Uh, let's spore on the Talyrex. And then... Max Steel Spike on the... Uh, on the Mimikyu. That Tyrex Ice could be holding Life Bulb, Weakness Policy, or Barberry Berry, for we know. So I don't want to risk hitting the Tyrex Ice with Max Steel Spike if it's holding Weakness Policy. And he decided to go Dynamax. Okay.
Max your spike, here go. Just gotta raise our defense. And there goes Mimitsu decoy. Yep. So anyway. Will o Wisp. That is completely fine for me. We're just gonna spore on the on the Talix Ice. Oh my god, Amoongus survived on 1 HP. Oh, thank god for that Fortier Sash. Spore. Nice. Now Talix Ice is put to sleep. Okay, this might be good for us now. So let's go with... Let's see now, what can we do? We could go with... Our own Talyrex Ice. That Mimikyu might gotta go will o on Talyrex Ice. So let's go with Protect. So let's go with Protect. And then max steel spike on the Mimikyu. And he withdrew the Mimikyu. That's fine. To 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 oh, it's a it's a Blastoise. Go protect. Max the spike. And that is fine. Raising our defense. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. We could. Go for... Hmm. Okay, this might sound weird. We're gonna go for Trick Room. No, actually, better yet, that... Well, let's go with Trick Room. And then let's use Max Airstream on the... Talyrex Ice and see what it does. Because this is gonna be weird. We're gonna raise our Talyrex Ice speed so that we can move faster under the Trick Room. Because remember, the faster Pokemon um move the slowest under trick room and the slowest put here move the fastest wait hold on skill is that right uh-oh i think i might have made this a terrible mistake crap uh-oh i think i might have made a very terrible mistake I think I may have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Let's go with Glacial. No. Glacial Lance. And then. Haltia onto the set. So. Well, at least we raised defense twice, so. Might be. Oh, his opposing Chaos woke up. There's the Glacial Lance. Ooh, Paltia barely survived. Alright, our Glacial Lance. Hydro Cannon, okay.
Oh boy, I don't think we're gonna win this one too, so... Uh... Oh boy. Uh, yeah, this is game for us too. We lost this one. And Cataract's Ice is still surviving, but that blaster is gonna finish us off anyway, so... Uh, yeah, this has not been a very good for us. Oh, he withdrew his Blastoise. Send on Mimic you. Okay. Oh my god. Jeez. Flew up. Thunderous flew up in the air. Uh, I guess we did it. I guess that trick room, setting up that trick room, cost it our game. Uh, yeah. This is not good for us. Well, at least, you know, we did well. Using this team was kind of pretty difficult, was a pretty big challenge for me. And at least we had some good result from the last episode, too. And, you know, it's a... Uh, and remember, you know, it, in Pokemon VGC, it's all about learning and gaining experience, you know. How to how to position your Pokemon well, how to pick the the right Mon for the battle, and how to adapt the battle, too, if you pick the wrong Mon. Like, the first game, we adapted that well, but this the last battle and this battle, not so much, so... Alright, come on, just end our suffering already. Oh, there's the Aqua Jet. Well, yep, the. Alright, oh, the Colossus is the one holding weakness posse. Why did I thought Calyx Ice was holding weakness posse? It would have been. That would have been very obvious. Okay, so the most likely chance is that 99.99% that Colossus is holding weakness policy, and we still surviving, but we're gonna die anyway because. Well, we. Our thunders will pay for the recoil damage from Wild Charge. So, uh, well, GG to the opponent, and we lost to Kyle. This is all Kyle's man fault. But anyway, that's the end of the day. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, make sure to click that like button. Please consider hitting the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new episode. And speaking of episode, if you want to watch the previous episode with this team, you can check out the vid, click on the video on the right side of the screen right now. Again, everyone, 
Thank you for watching this episode of Scuff VTuber Road to Master. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. C plus Hero, signing out.